and welcome to another episode of Foo Bar. Today we are continue talking about EventBridge. In this particular video, we are going to talk about API destinations. In the previous episode of EventBridge, we talked about what is EventBridge, how to use it, what kind of things you can do with it, why it's so interesting, and we built a simple application using AWS SAM. So we built the uh, EventBridge rules with AWS SAM. We have a super simple application that what it was doing, it was like try of simulating if we were a food delivery company, like we were getting the orders from the customers and sending it to the different restaurants. In our case, we had two different restaurants and the restaurants were Lambda functions. And these Lambda functions were invoking a random URL. In our case, I didn't implement the invocation, but that's the idea. Now, uh, in today's video, I want to show you a new concept called API destinations. API destinations were announced at the beginning of this year, and I think it's great addition to event bridge. What API destinations allows you to do is to invoke HTTP endpoints from EventBridge uh, directly. So before we could have as a target a Lambda function or a bucket or I don't know, Kinesis stream or a queue or whatever, and we could do some things there. Um, also, we could have SaaS providers where we will be sending messages to them. And now we can have a directly HTTP API. So if we have in the case of the restaurants, instead of adding this Lambda function that will invoke the HTTP API, we will create an API destination that uh, will be talking directly to this third party service and we don't need that Lambda function. That means one less piece of code to maintain and to worry about, you know, having less code is what we always want to do. We want to remove as much code as possible and keep everything in the configuration layer. So API destinations, it's a great solution for these situations where you need to talk to third party services and send events to them. So in this demo, I want to show you how you can add, uh, we will add the third restaurant um, to the application we built last time. And now this third restaurant will have an API destination rule and we'll have everything we need. So let's go to the code and get started. If you watched the previous episode and this, and you have not yet liked this video, subscribe to my channel and all the shabang. What you're waiting for? It's free. It's one click. You help me. I'm helping you. You help me. Let's continue. So I will start this demo from where we left it uh, in the previous episode. Uh, if you don't know, you didn't watch the previous episode, it's okay. Uh, you can go to the link I leave you in the uh, description box and you will find the code. The code looks like this. There is a uh, free SAM projects within uh, the Git repo, Thailand, Order Manager, and Pizza Hut. Thailand and Pizza Hut are two restaurants that are basically implementing a Lambda function and uh, they're sending the uh, request somewhere. And then the Order Manager is the one putting the events in Event Bridge and sending and then EventBridge will decide uh, to which application to send it. So uh, you can go clone this repo and start from there. Uh, when you do that, remember to initialize all the projects and deploy them. I already did, so I will not show you how to do that, but well, follow the previous video if you want to know the step-by-steps. -step. But um, at least I'm expecting that the order manager is deployed and working because we are going to do an invoke. So you will need the URL for the API gateway that the order manager has. So basically order manager is a simple uh, Lambda function that it's putting the event in event bridge and it's triggered by an API gateway. So that's, that's something uh, that we need that is deployed. The other two restaurants are not important if they're not deployed because we are not using them in this demo. So what we are going to do is to create a third restaurant and this restaurant is going to be called Blue Dragon. Uh, I'm thinking of a Chinese restaurant or something like that. I don't know, we have Pizza Hut, 
for pizza, Thailand, for Thai food, and now some Chinese food. I don't know. I'm very bad at naming things. You know that. I will call them restaurant one, two, and three, but well, <laughs> sometimes you need to put some names. And there we are only having a template YAML. This is going to be a SAM project with no Lambda function. The only thing we are going to do is define some infrastructure in the SAM template. So we are going to use the SAM CLI and the SAM notation to do some of the things. But at the end of the day, we are writing plain cloud formation, but I, I like to do it in SAM. So, uh, we are starting that template as always with some template definition to tell CloudFormation that this is some, some template, but really there is not much SAM in here. And we are going to define some resources. In this particular um, template, we are going to have a destination URL. I will call the name of the Blue Dragon URL later on, it will change the name. But basically this is a parameter that we are getting on the moment of deployment. So we can, uh, when you deploy this, you can put the URL you want. I will show you how to test this. So this is uh, coming from outside. So we are not depending on, on any, any service. Uh, then we are going to find the rule. So I like to find the rules in different projects, in the projects that are getting consumed. In this case, our uh, project is only the rule and the uh, API destination. You will see how we are going to configure that in a moment. So that's what we are going to put in this project. So we have the Blue Dragon event rule. That is an AWS event rule. And you can see there that the event pattern is very similar from the uh, rules that we created, I think, with Pizza Hut or Thailand, that we defined the, the, the whole uh, event rule. So this is something you have seen before in the previous episode where we talk about the source, the detail type, and the uh, restaurant name. There are the three things that we are going to filter out our uh, message as well. Event Bridge will use this information to filter out the uh, events and match the right rules. So in this case, uh, it needs to be from the source custom order manager. The detail type needs to include the order and the restaurant name needs to be Blue Dragon. If these three things happen, then good, this rule gets triggered. And what happens when this rule gets triggered? Well, here is the difference. Before, our ARN was a Lambda function. Now is an API destination. And then because we need to give permissions to uh, event bridge to, to invoke that API destination, we need to create a new role, that target role that is there that I will show you how to create it in a moment. And then we put an ID uh, for this target. So that's everything we need in our rule definition. And uh, then we can start basically building the, the rest of the different resources that we need. So the next resource that we are going to add in this template is the API destination. And here you can see that this is also from the event type destination and it has some properties. The first one is the name, uh, the name of the API destination, Blue Dragon. Then we have a connection and we are going to find that in a second. And then we have the URL where we are going to invoke. And this is the parameter that we are getting in the moment of deployment, the Blue Dragon URL. I already changed the name. You have to say which HTTP method you are going to use. In this case, it's a post. And if there is some kind of rate limit, uh, that might be something that the third party has. So you can put it here and then it will keep track of it. So this is pretty cool. So this is the API destination. And, um, and the weird thing here is the connection ARN. And that's basically for defining the security part of the connection to the API uh, destination. Some APIs destinations need to have an OAuth uh, parameter. Some of them has basic security authentication, and some of them are connected with API key. In the testing, it doesn't matter because the site I'm going to use as a demo site doesn't have any kind of security. But it's quite normal that if you're using a third party API, it has some security in place. So this is something you will need to configure. So I put here the API key, but you can find the basic and the auth as well. And you can find the links for how to find the security in the API uh, destinations documentation there is explained. Uh, here I'm just putting a dummy API key name and value because I don't need one. But if you have an API key, this is the parameters that you need to define. 
So then we almost have everything. The only thing we are missing is the role, the uh, target role for event bridge, basically allowing event bridge to invoke that API destination. So I will put it in the bottom of the file, and that's quite a long file. Uh, always these roles tend to be uh, massive. And here you can see it. the first part is basically an assume role, and then we will have the allowing of the invocation of uh, basically event bridge to invoke this API destination that we just created. So it's pretty straightforward, it's just a lot of lines. And with all of this, now we can uh, save our template YAML and deploy it to the cloud. You can see here that there is no Lambda function, so <laughs> this is a weird SAM template, but I like the, the SAM CLI and I think it's quite clear, so that's what I'm using it. But feel free to use CloudFormation. For our uh, Dragon, Blue Dragon URL or the dest restaurant uh, URL, destination URL, I'm going to use this site called webhook.site. And this is a site that basically uh, gives you an URL and it catches all the requests and show it to you in the uh, in the screen. So it's kind of handy to test when you need to do that type of random test. So I'm going to grab that URL and put it uh, in my deployment. It will ask for the URL. So that's what I'm getting from there. So the first thing we need to do is just to initialize the uh, node project because it, it might need it. And then basically just some deployed that's just guided and go through the whole deployment process, put a name so it creates the CloudFormation stack with that name, and then pick the region and put the parameter, that URL that we got from webhook.site, and then just go through all the defaults. And this will deploy, and you will not see anything because, well, it's just an API destination and a rule in EventBridge. So I will fast forward until we can test this. So now everything is deployed. I will go to my Thunder client and I already have it configured from the previous video. So here you will find the uh, URL. And this is the URL to the Lambda function of the order manager. So if you don't have this URL, you need to deploy that or, uh, order manager and you will get that URL back. Uh, and then in the parameters, that's a post method and it has a body and that body has some important parameters that we need in order for this to work. So we have to have the restaurant name, and this is the most important now because it's the one that is going to trigger the rule. So in this case, we need to put a uh, blue dragon, then we need to put something in the order, uh, whatever you like, <laughs> and then just have customer name and the amount that you're ordering. This will go to the order manager, the order manager will put the event in event bridge, and then the right rule will trigger. So I will send this and we will see what happens. To see what happens, we cannot go and open the logs because there is no Lambda function here being triggered. So we can go to our uh, webhook site and see what happened. We got a 200 response from, from the service, so that's good. And then uh, let's uh, refresh this webhook site and we should see one, uh, one request there. And you can see that it's a post that has been sent a few seconds ago. And you can see they are the uh, request, the raw content from the request. And that's exactly what we put in the event. If you want to see more, you can go to the event rich service in AWS console and go to rules, search for the rule that you just created and you can see more information on that rule there. As always, you can edit it, but this is infrastructure as code is not good. You can see the target that is the blue uh, Dragon API destination. And now you are wondering where is that? Yes, that's a new place now in EventBridge that you can go and click in API destination and there it explains you a little bit of what it is and you can find your destination there and the endpoint and the connection and all the information that uh, you configure. Everything is managed with secret manager. So that API key information that we input that in this case, we are not using it uh, there as well. So that's a resource that's being created for you. So that's it for today. The code is available in GitHub. You will see the link in the description box as always. I hope you like this video and I will make uh, some more videos on EventBridge because I find this is a very, very interesting topic and I have not talked enough 
I don't know why. So let me know what kind of things you would like to know from Event Bridge. If there is some particular topics you would like me to share about or discuss or go more in depth. So that's something uh, I can cover in the future. So I see you in the next episode of Uwa. Ciao, ciao!